Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm on my way to France. As you can see, I'm in the Euro tunnel, the Le Shuttle train, and I'm off to Sweden. So I'm gonna go through France, Belgium, Holland, Netherlands, and uh, Germany, Denmark, and then Sweden. As you know, because of COVID, we weren't able to travel for a while. So the last time I traveled was November 2020. And now it's the 1st of August, 2021. It's been a long time stuck on the island. But yeah, time to go and do nice things in other countries. I have escaped. I have escaped from London and I am now in Belgium. But I brought the English weather with me. So, as you can see, it's really grey and dark outside. So the plan is to head off to Netherlands and then to Germany, spend a day in Denmark, see some friends there and then head off to Sweden. But the first stop is here in Belgium on the border of Netherlands with family just to spend a couple of days catching up because of the lockdown and Corona. I haven't been able to see them since last October. Normally I come quite frequently and uh, yeah, have a beautiful big dog here. I brought my little pooch, but look at this baby. Hey monkey. Hello. He's sitting in his basket at the moment. This is the first time since I bought the 911 that I've been able to take it out onto the motorways and hopefully it will be fun on the autobahns. It's, it's very difficult to concentrate and look at the camera when you have this greenery outside and a big garden. Hello and a very good morning. We have a very early start again, leaving at 6 a.m. So I woke up at 5.30 to leave for Denmark this morning from Belgium. I have to stop at a friend's house on the way in Netherlands and then off to Denmark. Long day. It's going to be eight hours of driving with a little bit of a break in between. The weather isn't all that great. And we have arrived well, not just arrived, I've been in Germany for a couple of hours now and making my way to Denmark. Germany is a pleasure to drive through, no speed limits on the autobahns, motorways and uh, yeah, everyone behaves, traffic flows, so pretty good. There's nothing else to report because it's just a very, very long road to Sweden and there's not much to do except for drive, drive, drive. So I don't know what to tell you except the journey's going well and I'm enjoying it. The car is fantabulous. Okay, so here, very filthy car and the good thing is you can fill the fuel without touching it. So I've just pulled over somewhere in Germany to get some fuel. Hello, <laughs> I'm on a ferry from Denmark to Sweden. 
and it's going to take six hours. So I asked the reception if I could get a cabin so I could have a little bit of sleep. And this is what I got. It's basically, I don't know, 10 square feet. I don't even know, but uh, it has this little bed, then a bunk bed on the top. I don't know what this is. Oh, there's a toilet and a shower, which is not bad. And yes. Hello. But they allow dogs here, which is great. Okay, so I'm sitting here in Stockholm and the weather behind me, as you can see, is really like London. Well, London doesn't get so much rain. It's really, really wet. It rains three, four times a day. It's very bizarre. Not used to this kind of Sweden. Whenever I come to Stockholm, it's always sunny. But this time, it's actually really wet. I came to have lunch with my friend to Urban Delhi. It's one of my favorite places here. If you come to Stockholm, you have to look it up. They have very good food and nice places. Because of Corona, they've created this outdoor space. And it's really nice. I'm filming on my phone because it's so wet that I didn't bring my cameras with me. So you go into town to walk around, have a good time, have a coffee, spend some time with nature, people, friends, and then disaster strikes. And I'll tell you what the disaster is. The disaster is that I have become fat. I keep moaning about it. People, when they see you, they think, oh, you're not fat because they compare you to a really obese person. But for my physique, I have always been extremely slim and toned. A couple of centimeters extra makes me fat. And this corona lockdown has really ruined me. But I will tell you, I'll show you actually, what happened. So this is what happened. I ripped my favorite trousers, not at the seams, but actually in the middle. And that's me, just normal self. And if you look at me right now, like that, you probably can't see that I'm fat, but obviously I've put on some weight around my bum because the dog pooped in the middle of the street and I had to sit down, like bend down to pick up the poop and my trousers ripped. Luckily I was wearing a blazer on top, so when I stood up it was hidden, but I had to quickly come home and change, but that is now like the biggest trigger for me to go home, run, diet and lose weight because I can't be ripping expensive trousers. These were one of my most favorite trousers. As you can see, they have all these little embroidered logos on them. They're from Ralph Lauren and now I've ripped them. And I've only worn them like maybe five times so it's not like the fabric was worn, um, unless the fabric was already weak and damaged. But either way, I have never ripped any trousers in my life, so this was a complete disaster. I'm going to frame them and put them on the wall to remind me never to be fat again. Thanks for watching my disaster story.